Hey what's up? So in this video I'm going over every single advanced stat in Phantom Forces. So the average Phantom Forces player probably looks at these advanced stats and gets really confused and overwhelmed because there's so much information here that they just don't understand. So I'm gonna teach you what every single thing here means. First is the minimum time to kill. That's how long it takes to kill, usually with headshots because that's faster. So for example my AK-103 takes 0.1 seconds to kill because it requires two headshots and that's the fastest possible way it can kill. If you're using a weapon that can one shot then the minimum time to kill is just going to be zero seconds. So next the head multiplier. This is how much your damage is going to be multiplied if you shoot in the head. So for my AK-103 I do 38 damage normally and you multiply that by 1.4 to get how much damage you'd get. And same with the torso multiplier. Now the damage range, which is actually pretty important here. So your weapon's going to have some damage value. And once it hits this first number here, that's when it's going to start dropping off. Then once it hits the second number, it's going to stop dropping off. For example, my maximum damage is 38. And then it starts dropping off at 80 studs. And once it reaches 160 studs, then it's going to reach a minimum damage of 29. Next is the muzzle velocity. That's how fast your bullet is traveling through the air. And penetration depth is how far your bullet can go through an object. Now suppression is how much your bullets are going to be shaking someone's screen while you're shooting at them. Usually larger bullets cause more suppression. For example, my G3 here is shooting a larger 762 by 51 NATO, so it has higher suppression. I'll talk about the number here a bit later. So the min and maximum camera kick, basically this is the smallest possible amount that your camera is going to be moving when you're hip firing and this is the highest possible amount so you want to try to get these as low as you can with the right attachments now for recoil displacement I'm not really too sure what this one means I think it's similar to recoil rotation which means it's basically horizontal recoil whereas a uh, camera kick is more vertical recoil this is horizontal recoil now for hip fire spread factor Basically when you're shooting in full auto in hip fire, your crosshair is going to spread out and if this number here is larger, it's going to spread out quicker. Hip fire recovery speed ties into the thing I just talked about. A lower number means your crosshair is going to take more time to return to its normal state. And hip fire spread dampening, that basically means how much your stats here are going to affect your actual gun. So a lot of dampening means it's going to be less abrupt. Now for the sight accuracy stats here, uh, the minimum and maximum camera kick are essentially the same here. Usually it's going to be a lower value here than in hip fire because you have more support when you're aiming down your sights. And now recoil rotation is how much horizontal recoil you will have on your gun. So something like the Type 58 is going to have a lot of horizontal recoil. You can see the iron sights are swaying around a lot. And to reduce that horizontal recoil, you can use a pistol grip and a compensator. Sight magnification is how much zoom you're going to have on your sights when you're aiming down. So most red dot sights are going to have around 1.5 to 2. For example, the mini sight here has 1.5. Most medium range scopes are going to have around 2 and 3. So the TA44 ACOG here has 2.1. And most sniper scopes are going to be about 5 and above. Now back to what I was talking about earlier, about the accuracy. Basically, whatever this number is, you should just completely disregard it. They mean nothing, pretty much. They're just totally random. Your recovery speed for both hip fire and sight is how fast your aim returns to where you're originally aiming at. So something like the MSG-90, which returns to its aim really quick after shooting, has a lot of uh, recovery speed versus the SVD, which has a lot lower of a value, which means it returns a lot slower. Recoil dampening, again, like how I said here, it basically means how abruptly your stats here are going to affect your actual recoil. So the HK21 has a lot of dampening, which means the recoil is going to move pretty smoothly. Now for hip choke and aim choke, this pretty much only applies to shotguns, unless you're using like duplex ammo on your TAR-21 or something. Basically a smaller number here means your spread is going to be a lot tighter. So the KS-23M has a very small choke compared to the AA-12, which has a lot higher of a value. Your reload time means how long it takes to put in a new magazine. 
When you still have ammo in the chamber, empty reload means you're completely out of ammo in the gun. There is nothing in the chamber, so you have to put in a new magazine as well as racking the, the volt. Equip speed means how quick your weapon is going to be positioned correctly after uh, taking it out. And aiming speed, that's how fast your sights are going to line up. Crosshair size is pretty self-explanatory. A smaller crosshair, or a smaller value in this case, is going to be more accurate in hipfire. And I'm not too sure about these other two ones here. Weapon walk speed means how fast you can run. So my G3 here is kind of heavy. It's only 13 versus something a lot lighter like my Ramo 1130 here has 15 walk speed. And aiming walk speed is pretty much the same thing except when you're aiming down your sights. Ammo type is the kind of ammo you're shooting. For example, my Rama here is shooting 9x18 Makarov. My SVD is shooting 7.62x54 rimmed. And my Type 58 says it's shooting 545x39, but that's wrong because I have the 7.62x39mm conversion, so I don't know, that just doesn't update, I guess. Your round in chamber means if you can have an extra bullet in your chamber. So most guns will have just one, but some guns like the Uzi, which is closed bolt, does not have a round in the chamber. And shot suppression range, I have no clue. That's about it, I hope you learned something here, and uh, you should subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.